Uh, thank you, Chairman Frank. This is an important hearing on uh, the future of uh, housing finance and the, and the federal's role, federal government's role in that. It's been nearly a year and a half since the bailout of Fannie and Freddie, and the administration uh, has just released today uh, what uh, can only be considered as their, their plan for housing finance. The chairman referred to it, and that plan is uh, uh, basically to poll the American people to ask them what they want to do about housing finance and the GSEs. So uh, they're simply asking seven questions. I don't think we need polls, we need leadership. The press release accompanying this list of questions says their goal is to be transparent. What's abundantly clear is that the Obama administration has no real plan for dealing with housing finance or the GSEs. During the last year and a half, Republicans, on the other hand, have introduced a number of concrete measures uh, to ad immediately address the failures of Fannie and Freddie and have issued a strong set of principles and proposed reforms to protect taxpayers from further losses and future bailouts and to build a stable housing finance system. Uh, the goals, one I believe we can all agree on, start with reestablishing a housing finance market characterized by long-term stability in which private capital is the primary source for mortgage financing. It is also it also means restoring liquidity to the secondary market for residential mortgages and preventing significant disruptions to the financial market. We must encourage innovation and diversity in housing finance that provides more choices for consumers, not less. Just as importantly, reform must protect taxpayers from future losses and future bailouts and require taxpayers be made whole on outstanding loans guarantees and capital infusions made by the government. Mr. Chairman, it's long since past due to deal with these bailed out companies which were the center of the mortgage market meltdown and caused the financial crisis. It's inexplic inexplicable that the administration, the majority in this House, have no plans to deal with the, uh, Fannie and Freddie and have failed to meet their self-imposed deadlines to come up with any sort of response other than uh, to uh, issue seven questions. So far, the administration's answer has been to lift the caps on the bailout of the GSEs, guarantee the GSEs debt, pay their executives multi-million dollar salaries, and hide the costs. So far, the American people have contributed more than $127 billion to bail out Fannie and Freddie, own at least 80 percent of these companies, and have explicitly guaranteed more than $1.7 trillion of their debt and more than $5 trillion in their mortgages.